So here's Dave's Drascom lugger. All rigs ready to go. We're just on the main jetty here in the club, or one of the main jetties. We're just finding out if Rob, who owns the other Drascom lugger, is coming as well. This one's, a, I think he said it's a 2003. So it's 20 years younger than my lugger, but it's not too dissimilar at all. Which is always a good sign, really, because um, if things are not that different, it means the original design was probably quite good. So yeah, we're going to learn a few things today. Um, and it's also really interesting, although it is a little bit different. For instance, he's got a tabernacle here and obviously the boat's got newer things, but there are things that are really familiar as well, like the, the jib is exactly the same and the furler mechanism is exactly the same. The mizzen's the same. And that's what I want to know, you know, just how we control the boat. So yeah, looking forward to it. We're reversing onto the mooring. Where's the mooring? No, onto the jetty. Oh, onto the jetty. Ah, right. Oh, so you've left yourself a lot. Oh, yeah. A hell of a lot, yeah. So I can, we are reversing, yeah. What we're we'll doing, it gives you the opportunity to see how it actually goes, it goes in reverse. With just the mizzen. Yeah. And the mizzen's quite tight. So I'm videoing this so I know I've got a good idea of how to do it. So you've actually. Yeah, you've tightened it up as much as it'll go, probably. And we've got a bit of... The thing to remember on this, though, it's all or nothing. You're reversing, you can't stop reversing. Yeah. So you've got to get it right. So if you are reversing and you've got it wrong and you want to, you need to go forward... Well, what I've done in the past, I've, uh, I go for the middle jetty. Yeah. Because if you do miss that, you've got another one after it. Yeah, got it. And then if all else fails, you just get the jib, uh, the jib open. Well, the worst, and... the worst you've got the electric outboard. Yeah, true. Or what you do is, as I have had in the past, it's dead simple. Out with the jib and, um, and sail off. And get on to beam. Yeah. Oh, it's a lovely day. Yeah, we are actually reversing. I thought, when you said we're reversing, I thought, well, are we just drifting? But no, we're not. It is actually under control. Yeah, we are, we are reversing, yeah. That's crazy. Well, you need to get over quite early. As you see now, I'm getting it right over. Yeah. And of course, you're steering the opposite, yeah, you opposite way, yes, yeah. Do you want to take over, Dave, or do you want me to carry on? Yeah, I can take over. That right, just gives you practice. <laughs> it's up to you. I'm quite happy to take it on for you. Well, you're there now, aren't you? I'm watching what you're doing. Okay, then. Um, what you need to do now is to get your morning lines ready. Yeah. And actually, yes, that's crept up a bit quicker than I thought it would, actually. Now, let's get the other boring line out. Right. So, do you want me to grab that front one? Or have you got that one there, Rob? I've got this here. You can... the well, yeah. the main is to get one, one on, around. isn't it? Yeah. Too far, no, we need to go for the middle. So I get it where the arse end basically just kisses this as we go along, and I get this one round. Hey, please. Oh, 
and then I guess the mizzen isn't powerful enough if you've cleated the mizzen is just that's not going to do you any force at all and then you can just let it the mizzen go over Dave It is impressive. I've never seen a sailboat reverse. There we go. You okay? You can just see Rob falling in there. <laughs> <laughs> head, head first. 